A question that I got asked this week was related to chloride guard beds and the differences between alumina or a mixed metal oxide such as zinc oxide. So in general, well, zinc oxide or mixed metal oxides are absorbents, ab with a B, like abs in your stomach. And these are, these materials, there's actually a chemical reaction occurring and it's irreversible. So you're not gonna have chlorides kick off later. Alumina is an adsorbent with a D. I don't know if the D will show up, but with an ad, with a D where the chlorides are adhering to the surface. Um, the reason this can maybe be a downside is that alumina as it gets spent can actually create organic chlorides downstream of the guard bed. Alumina in general is, I will say, less expensive, most likely, than your mixed metal oxide. So that's a pro. Now, what cases would you use one or the other? Um, alumina, if your price is your biggest motivator or biggest decision criteria, then you might select alumina. Um, if you are not seeing, if you're using alumina, you're not seeing any issues with uh, chloride contamination downstream. So you're not seeing any green oil, you're not seeing any corrosion, you're not seeing any salting. Plus you are frequently checking downstream of your alumina guard bed for organic chlorides and you're not seeing the presence of any, any organic chlorides, then alumina might be a good fit for you. If you're seeing issues, you're using an alumina, you're seeing issues with green oils, corrosion, salting, then a mixed metal oxide might be a good fit for you, even though it's a little bit more expensive. The, in general, the pickup capacity is higher. So I think that you get kind of more bang for your buck, better protection with a mixed metal oxide or zinc oxide chloride guard bed. Uh, so this is just a question came up. I hope it helps as you are getting back all this information from vendors with all these different materials and trying to figure out which type of material to select for your next guard bed change up. Have a great day.